If you want to make the best decisions possible for your business, you have to stay on top of what the competition is up to. And if you don't believe me, think about Polaroid back in the early 2000s. This was a company that was a giant in the instant photography space, and they failed to innovate, they failed to listen to their customers, and they failed to stay on top of what the industry and their competition was doing, and at the end of the day, they went bankrupt. Well, today, I'm gonna share with you a tool that you can get a ton of competitive insight from and you can even estimate the traffic that other websites including your competition are getting if we haven't met yet my name is Scott Redgate I'm an online marketing coach and I've been in digital marketing for over 12 years the purpose of this channel is to help you make more and spend less in your online marketing and yes the tool that I'm gonna share with you today is free and I'm here to give you the confidence that you can manage your own digital marketing campaigns without hiring an expensive agency that doesn't understand your business to do it for you Hey, since you're watching this video, I have a free document that I wanna give you. It's my seven day online marketing jumpstart PDF. If you're starting your online marketing journey for your business, you have a website, but you're not receiving a lot of traffic, this is a great document for you. It's a seven day doc, it's bullet points, and it's gonna give you the steps to give you a solid foundation that you'll be able to build off of for years to come and drive more traffic, revenue, and leads to your website. Hey, could you do me a favor before we get started? In the comments below, could you let me know what SEO or PPC tools you're currently using? This will help me as I create more videos on this channel in the future. All right, so we're about to hop into the free version of similarweb.com. I'm excited to share this free tool with you, and I'm gonna give you a tutorial of how I use it to gain some competitive insights. This is the main screen for Similar Web, and the homepage has looked very similar for the past several years. Now, before you're gonna be able to access any of the estimates, you're gonna to need to create a free account. This is a recent change that they've made, but you can do it in just a matter of minutes. And then once you do, all you're gonna have to do in order to access any of their estimates and um, competitive insights is input the URL that you wanna analyze here in this analyze any website or app section and then you select analyze. Before we do that, I wanna show you where Similar Web is getting their data from. And so on their website, they list it out, this isn't secret. Um, there's four categories, so they say website and app owners. And so there's some users, there's some websites out there that actually opt in to have their data uh, funnel through and display in Similar Web. And so if that's the case, the, the estimates for those websites are not actually gonna be estimates, they're gonna be very close to the actual data. And so there's some websites that will opt in and then they can have their data show inside of similar web uh, next up they say their contributors network anonymous traffic data collected from sim similar web products installed on millions of devices worldwide uh, they don't give a lot of information about what that means specifically um, the next up is public data um, so publicly available data so for example wikipedia um, is captured in there and then partnerships so rich data pre-analyzed by global partners like ds dps's isps measurement companies and corporate intelligence firms and so i've found in my 10 plus years in digital marketing that similar web is one of the most accurate data estimation tools and so it's the one that i want to share with you today and the way that it's so good is because they have really good data that they're collecting here so let's go into the similar web interface now my screen might look a little bit different than yours and the reason for that is i've done a trial of their pro version if your screen looks a little bit different um, the data that's in, on your screen is going to be um, similar if not the same uh, but my screen will just look a little different here so the first section that we're going to go down here and i typed in amazon.com so let's say you're Walmart, for example, and you wanna do some competitive analysis on Amazon. Uh, you type them in, you click analyze, and then you can start going through these different sections. So this first one is traffic and engagement, and it, this is from July 2023 through September of 2023, and this has an estimate for the total visits for that time period. So this is showing 7.3 billion visits during that time period. And that's a decline of uh, close to 7% over the previous period. 
okay? So that's the total visit section there. You've got device distribution. So if you're curious, hey, is my competitor, do they have most of their traffic on desktop or mobile devices? You can see a quick breakdown there. And then similar web actually ranks websites overall um, compared to other websites. And so Amazon has a global rank of number 12 compared to websites out there um, with how much traffic they receive. And then you can see country rank, industry rank, et cetera. And now this is where it gets to be pretty cool. So you've got the, the monthly visits. So we saw that three month period, but now they break it down on a monthly visit standpoint, which is 2.4 billion visits to the website. Um, and then you can get estimates for how many pages uh, visitors are looking at once they land on amazon.com. And so the estimate that similar web here has is 9.63. So you can use this information in a variety of ways. So let's say you type in one of your competitors here and it's showing average pages per visit of 10, okay? And let's say you're at five and you're in an extremely similar space, you sell similar products or you have a similar service. That would be information that you could use to say, hey, once people land on their website, they are a lot more engaged than they are on mine. And so you could start to prioritize those user experience changes on your website to help improve that user engagement. So I really like that metric right there. Um, it has monthly unique visitors. It's showing uh, as NA there, so maybe that's a, a for the pro version. Visit duration, again, just like with pages per visit, it's showing over seven minutes. If your website is lower uh, than your competitors for that amount, it could be uh, a sign that just users are more engaged there. Then you've got bounce rate. So bounce rate is the percentage of times that someone lands on your website and then they immediately exit from that landing page. And so the bounce rate for amazon.com uh, is estimated to be 34.2%. And since this is the free version, you're limited with how many months of data you actually have for the website, but you can get a line graph for how much traffic that website or your competitor's website has received recently. And so this is going back since April of 2023. And so you can use this to say, hey, maybe I saw an increase or maybe I saw a decline. How does that compare to the competition in the space? Um, and then you can actually right here, without even um, inputting any other of Amazon's competitors, you can select um, the competitors that Similar Web has for them and then look at them on the same line graph. So that's really helpful. We'll go down here. This is the geography section. This is the uh, percentage of traffic that is from different countries. And show this. so this is showing almost 80% traffic share for the United States going to Amazon. And then you can go down here and see the other countries. I like to use this channels overview section to get a feel for the type of traffic that is being driven to a website. And so this is showing that Amazon's at 52% for direct traffic. They've got a small sliver with email. Referrals is close to 5%. Social is close to 5%. Organic search is over 25%. Paid search is at 10%. Display ads is less than 1%. So I like to use this information to get a feel for, hey, the traffic that I'm driving to my website, is it similar to those uh, of my com competition in terms of the type of traffic that I'm investing in? So for example, if I had a competitor that had 50% of their traffic coming from paid search, I can tell that they are investing heavily in paid search. And maybe that's not an area that I've invested much into. That could be a sign that, hey, they might be finding success in it, which is why they're investing so much money into it. So maybe that's a, that's a channel that I should spend more time and resources in. And so I really like this to see as like a temperature check to see how you're comparing to the competition with the type of traffic that you're driving to your website. And then you go down here and it just gives you some quick insights in terms of like branded versus non-branded. Are you a popular brand? So are the majority of the searches that are coming to you from organic search, do they include your brand name or do they not? You've got organic search terms. This will just display the top handful. And if you want to see more, you're gonna have to get on a pro version. Um, and then it's got a, a quick screenshot of top paid search ads. So that looks like the branded ad that they have there. But Google actually offers you the ability to see all the ads anyone is running. And I have a video of that and that's completely free. So you don't need, even need to pay for any paid version to be able to see that. 
keep scrolling down, you can see the top referring websites that are uh, driving traffic to Amazon. And it looks here, looks like here that the top one is Prime Video, which is uh, something that they own. Top referring industries, um, outgoing traffic, outgoing ads, social media, what type of platforms are most popular for them. So uh, then they've got display advertising and then the top, top publishers that their display ad is being shown on. So as you can see, there is just a wealth of information here, even with the free version of similar web. And so I love using this, especially when I'm doing some competitive analysis to see how I stack up against the com competition. Um, and it's even better that this information is completely free of charge. All right, so in summary, similarweb.com is one of my favorite free tools out there to gain competitive insights. It's super easy to use, and I found it to be one of the most accurate estimation tools on the market. Hey, that concludes things. Could you do me a favor, like and subscribe this video. That'll give me a little momentum in the YouTube algorithm. Take care.